keep in mind that people don't buy businesses. People buy people, meaning you go to where you like to eat or drink based on the service. You probably know the bartender, you know the server, you know the staff. They make you feel good when you go there. The, the environment, the, the food, everything else is kind of secondary to what that service is like. Anybody can go into a place with awesome service when the food's all right and they'll go back. But if you go into a place with great food and terrible service, you're never coming back. So keep in mind how important that aspect of it is. Quick story, I used to live in Vegas before I moved here to Scottsdale. And uh, every time I would have friends in town, of course, I, if, when you live there, you avoid the strip like the plague, so I did. People came to town and I'd bring them down there to a place called Carnival Court, which was right in between uh, Harrah's and uh, O'Shea's, I think, somewhere down there. Anyway, it was right off the strip. And we would go to see my buddy Christian, who is, happens to be one of the, the, uh, the Legends of Bartending series winners. He's a, an incredible flair bartender. But what I, we would go there for is to, to see him. He would remember me. And, you know, he was, of course, I would, I would he's got five deep in the bar. I, he would take my order before anybody else's. He was a great guy. And, and uh, mind you, I didn't know him by name. He didn't know me by name. We didn't talk. He just knew my face. And I brought people there maybe half a dozen times over the course of a year. So I wasn't a, a, what you call a regular at that bar. So I move out of Vegas and I go back to visit. And this is about five or six years later without being there. Go to Carnival Court and sure enough, there's Christian. And he, he, uh, he kind of sees me in the crowd and does a double take and, and you could tell he's thinking and he's, he's trying to access the memory banks of, 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 of my, where he knows me from and everything. And he, he looks over and he says, uh, Jack and Coke, right? And I was blown away. I was like, yeah, that's, that's my drink. And he remembered that five years later. That's the most impressive bartender I've ever seen. This guy's obviously at the top of his game. Those guys make a couple thousand dollars a night. They work at, at one of the busiest flare bars in Vegas, in the United States. So they, they do make the most ridiculous money you can make, but it's not just because he's a flair bartender, because he can remember someone's drink five years later. That is impressive.